guys, today we're going to be looking at the Eye in Sky app. Uh, we're going to be looking at this on the Google Nexus 10 10 inch tablet, which is a beautiful 2560 by 1600, very bright LCD panel. Fabulous for any apps, especially apps that have uh, really nice media like this one does. So this is a simple weather app, and it doesn't provide a lot of functionality, but it provides all the basics uh, to get you your weather reports. So we've got a few widgets here on our home screen that we've already configured, and I'll just kind of step you through them. The first one is simply a week view. It allows you to see uh, you know, about five days of the week or so. It's got some uh, pretty fancy looking icons on it, and there's a couple of buttons on the side that you may or may not be able to discern. The top one here is a little refresh button, and the bottom one here is, is, few, is a few dots that allows you to change some settings within the uh, widget. So on the top here, we have the ability to customize the location of this particular widget. Uh, we can set any location that we want to, uh, or we can have it use our current location. We also have a variety of icon sets to choose from, and the one that we're currently using is called Realistic, and it's got some really cool pictures of the sun, clouds, uh, you know, and the sun kind of covered by clouds, um, so some really cool icons in that one. Uh, but as you'll see, when you go through the app, there's a lot of different icon sets that you can use, and uh, each of them, you know, it's kind of interesting. Uh, there, there's a lot of variety, and I think people can create uh, third-party icon packs to plug into this. So a lot of flexibility there with how you want to customize it. Uh, you can also change the color of the text of the day of the week and the temperature. So that's a pretty nice feature as well, just to kind of add some additional customization. Uh, you can also change the background color. Uh, you have a full color gamut here, so you can choose anything that you want to. Some are going to be easier to read than others, but uh, you know, feel free to customize it at your will and uh, see what kind of works for you. Uh, at the bottom of the widget settings here, we have the option to do rounded corners or square corners, depending on what your preference is for the look. We can also choose to show the edit dots on the right hand side here, and we also have the option to show the refresh uh, button in the top right here. So th that's a really customizable widget. Uh, the one down here is pretty much the same thing, only it kind of gives you a, a larger view of today's current weather. On the top right here, we've got a couple smaller widgets. One is just this little icon widget that shows you the temperature. Um, it's really simple. And if you tap it, it just takes you to the app as you just saw there. And this other one allow is, is simply a temperature and icon that shows you kind of what the current weather conditions are. So depending on what your needs are, you can kind of choose any one of those. Personally, I really like this big, uh, large one that kind of shows you an all-encompassing view of what the current weather and the future weather is going to look like. But it's up to you. Very customizable, very uh, beautiful. And so let's got dive into the main app here. So within the main app, we have the ability to choose a variety of locations from our uh, drop-down box here. We have the main view, which has the current weather, uh, a lot of detailed information about humidity, dew point, wind speed, uh, air pressure, and so on. We also have some really nice icons down here uh, that show what the weather conditions are going to be in the future. Uh, we also do have ads down here at the bottom, although I believe you can purchase this app for, I think it's $1.99 on the App Store, so I'll have to double check that. Um, but it's 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 very inexpensive, and that'll remove the ads for you. And uh, this icon set here is is a really beautiful one called uh, the realistic app, yeah, realistic icons. And so if I just go, if I just go into the icon sets here. I can get a preview of all, what all these different icons look like. And as you can see, there's some really cool varieties in here. I just really liked this realistic one because the sun looks really cool. And, you know, some of those other icons are pretty cool looking. They even give you a link to go to where the developer actually created that icon set. So if you want to research it a bit further or, you know, thank the author for it, you can uh, head over to those URLs. So on the left-hand side here, we've got our, our, we're currently on the overview tab. Uh, we also have our 48-hour forecast. We can click on the morning, afternoon, evening, or nighttime and get a further breakdown of what the current weather conditions look like. And then on the 15-day forecast, again, we have uh, the next 15 days in the list here, and we can tap on one of those to get more details about the current weather conditions. 
Uh, this setting here allows us to go to our current location and our saved locations. We can add new locations from here simply by entering a city. Uh, another really cool feature that I'd like to point out is that you can click on the map icon in the top right. You can get a map of the entire uh, United States or the entire world really and simply tap on a location where you want to get weather from. So for example, you tap on Cleveland, you hit add and you know sure enough it adds Cleveland Ohio to the list there down at the bottom so that's a that's a really handy way to kind of pinpoint a location that you want to track the weather for uh, the only other thing I really wanted to show you is the settings here and we can change the temperature to be displayed in Celsius or Fahrenheit we can use uh, metric or standard wind speed units uh, we can change what measurement we want for rainfall if we want like inches uh, which is pretty common here in the states uh, we can also change the update interval to uh, anything from 30 minutes up to 24 hours or we can shut it off completely uh, we can also elect to get weather notifications and then you can configure those in a little bit more detail here and um, we can also just force it to use English uh, when it's pulling the weather I don't really know what that does but hey it's there so I really hope you guys like the um, eye in sky app and uh, we'll see you next time thanks